absolutely. No, we're super excited. We now have 11 resorts uh, in the United States and have uh, a collection of resorts in Colorado, in Utah, and Tahoe, which are the three primary destinations in North America. Um, so couldn't be more excited about where the company's going and couldn't be more excited about coming to Australia, which is one of our most important markets anywhere in the world. And obviously, you've had the Epic Pass, which has uh, lured a lot of Aussies onto that, and you've just put Naseko on board. How, how popular has this Epic Pass been for you globally? Uh, the Epic Pass is actually the fastest growing product anywhere in the ski industry. It's growing about 14 to 16 percent in unit sales per year, it represents almost 40 percent of our total lift ticket sales of our whole company. And one of the reasons is value. So we offer passes that include access to all of our resorts. And for somebody in Australia, for instance, they can actually come to the United States, and they obviously typically stay for a couple of weeks. So with 11 resorts in the United States, the Epic Pass or the Epic Local at $550 is close to $50 per day to ski, which is a huge discount over most of the window prices. Now obviously your, your company says Vale Resorts and obviously where the company has been founded from, but you're making a lot of plays over in Utah at the moment. How, how big is Utah um, now and how big do you think it's going to get given your global reach in terms of branding and marketing? Um, I think Utah is an amazing opportunity for us. First of all, Park City, Utah has always been a terrific destination and a great brand in all of skiing. And for our company to be able to take our international marketing, PR and sales efforts will obviously energize uh, the entire Utah market. But the other opportunity for us is we're actually going to be combining Canyons Resort and Park City Resort in Utah to create the largest ski resort in the United States with seven thousand skiable acres accessible within just a couple of minutes of downtown Park City. So it's really a once in a generation opportunity for the ski industry. And it's obviously, it's not an emerging destination for Americans by any means in the ski industry, but it's an emerging destination, I guess, for other global markets, isn't it? Absolutely. So, so far in Utah, you know, you haven't had a company like ourselves that has this global reach to be able to really deliver skiers from around the world to come to that market. And so we think that there's a huge opportunity. When you see what goes on in Colorado, where our company has been pushing and selling right for uh, close to 50 years, we can do the exact same thing in Utah and it's terrific skiing, unbelievable snow and a great environment in downtown Park City. And um, obviously your accommodation bank's growing as well. What, what are your sort of plans with Rock Resorts in terms of growing that when you do uh, buy more ski areas as well? Every time we buy a ski area, we look for opportunities to either build hotels, manage hotels, um, uh, or partner with people to create new opportunities for people to, uh, to, to stay. And so, uh, like for Canyons, for instance, we added another 500 beds um, in Park City, Utah that are under our management. We now have about 6,000 uh, units in total, 6,000 rooms in our hotel portfolio that we either own or manage. Uh, so it's a huge opportunity, again, because many of the ski resorts have independent operators um, that often want to be able to access right, the global reach that we have and all of the marketing resources that we have. So we really see it as a synergistic opportunity. And uh, airlines like Qantas have put extra seats into the U.S. this uh, upcoming northern winter. What are you expecting out of Australia? Um, we're expecting big growth. Um, and again, we're starting to, you know, tourism in the United States is growing. Um, the worldwide economy is, is, you know, getting a little bit better, although certainly there are some challenges in the Australian economy. We're still seeing growth out of, uh, out of Australia, and a lot of that is because of what we're doing, coming down to Australia, making sure people understand the value that they can get when they visit with us, making sure people understand the number of resorts they can ski at when they uh, do so through one of our uh, tour packages. So again, um, we're very excited. And, uh, and conferencing and incentives, is that something that uh, the company is looking to uh, it, it, it attract more attention from? Absolutely. And we have, uh, again, uh, more than any other ski company in the world, we have a huge sales force and a huge engagement um, in the conference and ski group, both, whether that's for work, you know, business, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, groups that want to come at all times during the year, whether that's during the winter. We also have a huge push uh, for the summer, which is actually an incredible time, uh, very pleasant, very mild, right, compared to a lot of other cities in the United States in terms of the uh, summer heat. So we're really seeing good dynamics on both fronts.